Hello everyone and welcome to UPS Education. We are back with another useful video for you. In this video, we'll guide you on how to fill up the application form for National Forensic Science University for School of Behavioral Forensics. So first, we'll open our Google web page and go to UPS Education website. On the website, we'll go to the top right hand corner on the update section and we'll scroll down to find the notification for National Forensic Science University. So here it is. We'll click on the URL. So the School of Behavioral Forensics include courses related to MPhil in Clinical Psychology, MSc in Clinical Psychology, MSc in Neuropsychology, MSc in Forensic Psychology and MA in Criminology. So the good part is that this time some of the courses will be offered at the Delhi campus as well. So basically Delhi campus will soon get the RCI license. It is not confirmed yet, but you can apply for the same in this year applications for NFSU. So here is the eligibility criteria as well as the fee for each course, including MPhil. So for example, it's a two years course and minimum eligibility criteria is 55% marks in the master's degree and course for one semester is 75,000. And likewise, you'll find details for all the courses over here. So here are the details related to the entrance exam pattern. And here is the application procedure. So before proceeding to the application form, we'll first see which all courses are available at the Delhi campus. So based on the details, the Delhi campus is offering MPhil in clinical psychology, MA and MSc in neuropsychology. Rest of the courses are available at Gandhinagar campus, which is in Gujarat. Proceeding on to the application form, we'll go to the apply now link, click here. So here you'll find admission policy. Uh, the details are already on the UPS education website. The details related to eligibility criteria are also available on the website. And the last date to apply is 29th May 2023. So here we'll start with the registration. So you'll fill in your basic details, name, email address, Make sure that the email is correct because you'll be receiving OTP. Then you have to enter your mobile number. Again, be careful because you'll be receiving OTP on this number. Choose a password, then select your country. So here you have to enter OTP for your email as well and for mobile as well. To receive OTP, click on send OTP to verify for email and separately for send OTP to verify for mobile number. Once you fill in the email ID and the number, just click on send OTP to verify. Now we'll enter the OTP received. Now click on verify email and verify mobile once both of the things have been verified then choose to register now once you're registered you have to enter your login details again the email id that you used earlier
So once you have logged in, you can choose the course that you want to apply for and the course fees is mentioned right next to each course. So let's go for MPhil. So MPhil Clinical Psychology. So click on apply now. So the notification says that the entrance exam carries 90% weightage whereas 10 marks are for the interview that is 10% so agree and continue. Now we have five steps over here. The first one is about your personal details. The second one is about your address. The third one would be about your educational qualification. In the fourth one, you will upload all the necessary documents. And the fifth one is the final, that is the payment. So let's go to campus preference. So Gandhinagar is in Gujarat. So based on your preference, you can choose the campus. Again, fill in your personal details. After entering the Aadhaar number, you can choose these things if you're from Defense Quota or if you're currently employed or not. Make sure that you fill all the information that has a star on it because you won't be able to proceed without those. Fill in your mother or father's details. Occupation, mobile number. Email ID is optional. Make sure that you save and then exit before if you don't want to press next, then do save the information that you've already shared. Now choose your address. If the permanent address is same as the correspondence one, then just choose yes. And then again, click next. Now you have to give details regarding all the educational qualification from 10th till your master's degree. So if you have marks in CGPA, you can convert it to percentage and if it's in percentage, then you have to convert it into CGPA. The necessarily, uh, necessary guidelines for the conversion should be mentioned on your respective mark sheets. So according to that, enter the percentage. in the passing year for your 12th grade.
give a city name. Then your CGPA. And then again, you have to convert it to percentage. So ideally, you just uh, divide it by 9.5 the CGPA to get the percentage. And to find percentage, you multiply the CGPA with 9.5. But do refer to your respective report cards for that. After filling in this, we'll select next. Now you have to be very careful because you have to upload your documents over here. So it has to be either in JPG or PNG format and it should not exceed more than 300 KB for some and 50 KB for your photograph and signature. So your birth certificate, your master's mark sheet, And choose a photograph according to the size mentioned. Then your graduation mark sheet, signature, which should not exceed more than 50 KB. Make sure that you read all the points over here and related to size as well. Then once you have uploaded all the documents, just scroll down and read the declaration carefully and choose on the agree thing and then next. So here's a preview of the form. So make sure all the details are correct. Read it carefully, right from your personal details to address and then your qualification and your marks. And finally, the declaration. So if everything is all right, you can proceed. You can go to make payment now. So here you can do the payment based on the form that you have filled. So we hope that this was helpful. Thank you for watching and please feel free to drop in any queries in the comment section and we would be happy to help. Thank you so much.